Hey there guys, what's going on? I'm Arrow in the Knee and today I'm bringing you some not safe for work Five Nights at Freddy's fanfiction. Yes, this exists. In my last video, everyone was like, hey Shane, you know, this dating simulator thing, it's, it's, people have been doing stuff, fanfiction like this for a while and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna go have a look. And um, my good friend Luna Guardians on YouTube, go check him out, uh, sent me this one and this one is very not safe for work. So. For you guys out there who are quite young, and this is really bad. This is really bad. I'm going to say, if, if you're not into at least Fifty Shades of Grey territory in terms of being not safe for work, don't watch this, because you will just get offended and upset and think, what the hell is going on? Seriously, this is bad. But if you can deal with that, if you think you can deal with this video without feeling, you know, really bad, Watch on and listen to my wonderful voice as I do this. It is... I can't even remember what the name... There's not even a name of this. It's called I Made This Because I Can. Five Nights at Freddy's Fan Fiction. Not safe for work. Alright, if you guys are ready... Okay. I, I'm not even ready. I'm so sorry. This is by Dead Source, by the way, guys. Dead Source is the person who did this. Um, so if you have any problems, go tell him, not me. Okay, are you guys ready? I'm gonna give you five seconds to click off the video right now. Because, yeah. Alright, are you ready? Five, four, turn off the video. Three, two, are you sure you wanna keep going? One. <clears throat> Mike furiously bought up the security camera. It's only 2 a.m. on the first night, and they're all gone! Mike panicked. He was flicking through the security feed, trying to locate the dysfunctional animatronics. At last, he stumbled upon Foxy peeking out of the curtain. Instead of his usual mundane look, he was frowning. And he wasn't facing the camera this time. Okay, he's not facing the camera and he's frowning. How do you know that? Anyway, Mike shrugged it off as he pulled down the security monitor. He leaned towards the fan when he heard Freddy's slight chuckle. <laughs> it echoed in the distance. Mike panicked and switched camera to display. Once again, hastily swapped between cameras. Bonnie and Chica were nowhere to be found. Foxy was still at Pyroco, this time sitting down. NANI! That is what in Japanese. Why does he have Nani though? Anyway. Um, this was strange. Something was off, he looked. Sad and zoned out. Mike shrugged it off. Blamed this on the animatronic for running out of battery. He was not sure if this was good as his employer would blame him for tampering with the animatronic. He did not know what- I'm gonna stop here guys, because I'm not sure if you can hear that, but I can hear that. I can hear an ice cream van in the middle of winter in England. What the hell's going on? Anyway! He did not know what was coming for him. Then, he resumed his constant flickering of the channels. There! He found him! The one and only Freddy Fazbear, who was in the storage room on Camp 5. He also seemed to be off character. He was moving. He headed back towards the camera and seemed to be searching for something. Freddy looked at the bottom left part of the shelf and picked something up. It was a box. What was in that box? Mike had to know. He zoomed in using his camera and saw a box had a few packet-like things in it. There were multiple objects in there he couldn't recognise. Freddy walked out of the room. Mike put down his display. What the fuck? Oh my fucking god! He's not supposed to do that! What the actual wet donkey? I'm gonna report this to the developers! Mike thought in his distress. <laughs> Bonnie and Chica were nowhere to be found. Wait a second, a, fluff, a flush of panic washed over Mike. He could hear the groaning. Only Bonnie and Chica do that! Mike looked to the left and pressed the light switch. Bonnie and Chica were both there! Holy mother of Shrek cookie! What the fuck? He yelled as he viciously shanked the, the door button. The door was coming down, but stopped around 10 centimeters at the bottom. Something was blocking the door. Shit! Fuck! I'm dead! I'm dead! I'm dead! It was... it was... a strap-on dildo. Mike shrieked and went to kick it away so the door would close. But just as he got it, Freddy came from behind and yanked him with his powerful bare arms. He lifted Mike up as Bonnie and Chica continued their groaning. Freddy kept Mike held up high as Bonnie lifted up the door. Both Bonnie and Chica looked oddly happy as they paced towards Mike. Freddy put Mike down on all fours and viciously tore off Mike's pants. <laughs> what the fuck, mate? Kill me already! 
But Freddy did not stop. He continued and ripped off Mike's underwear. This caused Mike to yell and kick. Mike's kick came into contact with Freddy's leg. But Freddy only responded with an Arrgh! in a happy tone. What? <laughs> Bonnie and Chica joined in, ripping off Mike's shirt. Mike looked angrily at Bonnie and Chica, but his expression soon turned pale as he saw Bonnie and Chica's modified suit. Strap-on dildos were located around the crotch area, and were covered with a condom. <laughs> Mike could no longer think. However, something was being slapped on Mike's ass. <laughs> it was pizza! Okay, no thank you, what the fuck Scott thought called then, Mike thought. Chica was turned on and his voice box started to produce human noises. <clears throat> oh yes, oh yes, it said. Freddy plopped the pizza onto Mike's back and Chica started to quack. The text on his apron started to glow. Let's eat itadakimasu, which is, uh, let's eat in Japanese, or enjoy your meal in Japanese. Anyway, Chicka's quack soon turned into roars as he jumped onto Mike's back, pecking on the pizza, sitting on Mike's back. Freddy grunted as Mike felt a wet, slimy thing on his anus. It was pizza! Mike was no longer sane. His tiny mind could not comprehend what was happening. Suddenly, Chicka went behind Mike. Let's eat! Let's eat! Its voice box exclaimed. Chica began to eat Mike's ass as Mike began to like it. Ooh, yes! Chica eat! Chica eat that ass! Mike yelled <laughs> in joy. After five minutes of Chica eating Mike's ass, all the pizza was gone. Eat! Eat! Chica exclaimed as he returned to pecking the pizza off Mike's back. Mike started touching his ass until he felt something cold junk. Cold jab up against his buns. It was not a strap on dildo. Mike turned his head and saw the endoskeleton pierce through the, fuzzy, f the fluffy fuzzbear suit, a, a massive metallic penis erected from the lifeless animatronic. Mike's penis throbbed in excitement. With a quick movement, Freddy's dick went inside Mike's wet hole. Rawr! Freddy roared. Oh, fuck yeah, Mike yelled. Throughout all of this, Bonnie was slumped in Mike's chair, touching itself and fingering its butt. Let's eat! Let's eat! Chica roared as it ate pizza. Ah! Bonnie groaned in pleasure. Ah! Freddy roared in delight. Ah! Foxy laughed. Wait, Foxy? Mike's eyes fell upon the security monitor. Foxy was charging through the hallway. His metallic penis glistened in the hall light as he ran past it. Within a second, Foxy appeared at the door and took no extra time to delay. With one quick thrust, Foxy's erect member was down Mike's throat. <laughs> Mike protested. Freddy's roars started to grow in loudness as he started thrusting his robotic penis in Mike's greedy hole. Foxy started to groan in time with Freddy's roars. Mike felt it was going to explode. Freddy's, j <laughs> Freddy's jingle started to play and his ass lit up as he expelled his oily liquid in Mike's butt. Ah! Foxy also expelled his petroleum into Mike's mouth, followed by Bonnie and Chica's black sludge spraying the security guard's office room. Ah! Mike thought to himself as Freddy and Foxy removed themselves from him. The bell chime! It was 6am. The animatronics seemed to disappear simultaneously, leaving Mike filled with machine liquid in and out of his body. Mike picked up the pizza and pizza slice and became, began to eat it. I can't wait for my next shift, he thought to himself. Freddy is love, he says to himself. Freddy is life. Um, well that's the end, guys. Uh, yeah, um, <laughs> what the fuck is going on here? Well, there's some comments to this, funnily enough, um, so I'm gonna read them to you. Uh, we have I I Color Spectrum so, that says, well, I guess someone was going to do it eventually, strange face. Someone else says, what the fuck, which is exactly what I think right now. It was only a matter of time, oh, it really was. Someone said, I came, lol. Right, so I'm going to die now, this other guy says. What in the actual fuck did I just read? I completely agree. Phone guy says, the most amazing thing you will ever read. Someone says, hot. Someone else says, I did this in a response to a joke by my friends. But I thought Retic would in- uh, I thought Retic? I thought Reddit would enjoy it too. I watched Retic too much. Seems you guys enjoyed it. Well, that was, uh, wow, that was it. Guys, if you- 
um, I usually say, guys, if you enjoyed this, make sure to leave a, a like, comment, subscribe. But this is just so insane. Um, if you got through this video uh, without feeling sick, leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. If you, well, I don't know what to say. Just, I hope you don't have nightmares, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.